Nancy Cohen say that we are in an age of limitlessness and that the sons of God are rising up in this day. And so today I'm going to walk here down the river and I'm going to listen to Nancy as she talks to us about all these things that God is speaking to her. And so I want to invite you, come and do the session of Kingdom Footsteps with me. I'm going to walk and listen and we're going to enjoy together listening to Nancy. I think because um, a part of the purpose is convergence of family, I think one of the most empirically important things at this moment is for us to really unite together with a spirit of love and a spirit uh, with a, such a family spirit. And one of the reasons why I'm very excited about being with you all is I feel like the Lord has instantaneously established that. Uh, with you guys Amen. as leaders, which will say a lot about what uh, we're going to find when we get there, because uh, as go the leaders, so go the rest of the body. So I'm very, very excited about the foundations that you've already laid. Uh, to me, the most primary message of the present moment is us learning our position as sons of God. What does that mean, and how is it going to change the level of our functionality? And probably one of the most important messages is uh, the love of God, how much he loves us all. And um, that does not that's not even just relegated to the body of Christ, but to all humankind. And so I have a lot that I'd like to share about the love of God and also probably about where we're going because everybody knows where we've been. We're still trying to figure out where exactly it is that we're going. And uh, <clears throat> I think that as a forerunner, I might be able to answer some of those questions for the things that the Lord is doing to increase our level of functionability that will be totally, completely, absolutely prepared in every area of our body, our soul, and our spirit to rule and reign with him in his throne. He's raising up a bunch of overcomers at this present moment, and I know that I know and I feel inside of me that your group is a group of overcomers. So I'm very excited about um, spending yep, time are. with them. I have uh, actually four birth messages that are very core to everything that I'm teaching. Uh, one has to do with the seventh day transfiguration of the corporate son of man, that we're about ready to be transitioned out of the limitations of our natural DNA and catapulted into the activity and in inside our spiritual <clears throat> DNA. And that is a teaching that could take weeks and weeks, but um, the Lord has really, really uh, given me a message that's gone around the world concerning the upcoming transfiguration of the corporate son of man. The second one that I would consider to be a birth message is one that the Lord put in me on a heavenly, uh, on a heavenly ascension experience. And it, it has to do with the release uh, or the responding of what's inside of us to all creation which is groaning. And actually, it has to do with the frequencies of heaven, the groaning that comes out of us, that as we begin to uh, vibrate with the frequencies of heaven, that no matter how hard-hearted and no matter how antichrist spirited a person is, they pick up on the sound of that yeah. frequency because inside of their heart, there's a light. Not because I said so, but <laughs> Jesus said so. He said, I, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but that through me the world might be saved. For I am the light that lights the whole earth and the light that lights the heart of every man. So inside of every man there is a light, <clears throat> even if it's covered over by gross, ugly, <clears throat> hideous, despicable darkness, there's still a light. And once we can begin to vibrate with the frequency of the light produced by the love of God, no matter how hard-hearted they are, they will come because they respond to that particular sound. And part of the reason for that is it's a sound they heard before they ever even came to the earth. The next uh, probably core message that I really carry is uh, the restoration of all things. And that is something that I might only minorly touch on in the conference because it's a very, very extensive, extensive teaching. But it also uh, takes people into the mysterion of God to plumb into the mystery of the divine unfolding of his sovereign will and purpose for mankind since the very beginning. 
So that's one of them that I, I think we'll, we'll stay up all night talking about because yes. I really <laughs> want to hear more on that. <laughs> yep, yep. Actually, we're uh, doing a conference with Justin Abraham uh, in, in the UK, and it'll be sponsored by Mike Parsons. And the whole conference will be on the restoration of all things. And each one of us is taking the facet of revelation that the Lord has given us specifically in regard to that. And I'm going to love it <clears throat> because it's the first time I ever got an invitation from when Mike's invitation came. It says, this is a no holds barred conference on restoration of all things. And I have waited 40 years <laughs> to get that kind of an invitation, no holds barred. Because wow. when I first received the divine download from that, uh, the, the Lord gave me 500 different scriptures that apply specifically to the restoration of all things. But to this point, I've only been allowed to release about 100 of them. And wow. so when he said no holds barred, I said, I'll be there. <laughs> So restoration of all things is also one of my favorite topic, topics. Probably one of the most favorite teachings around the world that I've found is the teaching I do on Limitless, and that is how to move out of the confinements uh, of the limitations of operating in the earthly realm and be released from time and space and distance and caught up into the heavens to see the things that were, the things that are, the things that are yet to come. And the teaching on limitlessness uh, seems to be probably one of the most powerful ones. And it also gives opportunity for me to share a lot of incredible testimonies uh, but about what the Lord is doing uh, around the earth. So uh, those, are, those would be what I would consider core teachings. Um, everything pretty much springboards off of those. Um, another one would be the restoration of the order of Melchizedek. And the, we're actually beginning to tap into and function in that, which also produces limitlessness. Wow, that was awesome. In the next session, we're going to listen to Nancy talking about going into a state of limitlessness. And you know, Nancy is, is a pioneer in that whole idea of being a limitless son of God. So... Uh, please hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next session. God bless you.